Hi friends! I'm so happy to see you today. In today's video we are going to be playing Cave FRVR, which is a game made by the lovely folks over at FRVR, and it is very decidedly because there was another video that was supposed to come out today that I just was not able to film, and because of that I wanted to go ahead and have something that would be fun, but would still go ahead and allow me to publish a video today. That is the sort of thing that happens. It's it's a real shame when a video doesn't come together, but that just is the way that it is sometimes. That said, I'm very happy that now we can go ahead and just play a nice little game together. Um, this is definitely going to be one of my chill uh, gameplays as opposed to being one of my more streamlined videos and one of my more edited and put together videos. I've been having a lot of fun doing those, but I was working on a video for items in a jump chain context and it just did not come together the way that I wanted it to. So instead, we're going to be having a lot of fun doing this instead which is perfectly fine, I know, and I'm not going to stress out about the fact that some videos just don't come together the way that they're supposed to. It's a real shame when that happens, but you know, it happens to everyone. That said, I am so excited to be here with you all, and I hope that you are having a truly wonderful day today. Um, we are going to be taking some time to explore uh, different videos and different video games over the course of of our time together. I do think that I am going to explode. Yep, but that's cool. I was still able to unlock a chest, so let's see what we can get. I know that I've been making a lot of videos lately that have been a lot more, I guess, polished than these sorts of videos, but more than anything, what I want to do with these videos, at least this particular type of video, is make sure that there is something coming out almost every day. If there are days when we are not able to get out videos, I'm not going to stress about it. Um, and also, now we're upgrading our ship. This is something that you can do to get new ships. I have played this game before on another little save file, but I am not going to be using that save file because I wanted to show you all what these kinds of games look like when you are playing them from the very beginning as opposed to someone who has put in dozens of hours into a game like I do because sometimes I will get bored and I will need something to distract my mind and what I'll do is just come onto this website and I'll play some of these games. And for me that's a lot of fun. I'm very glad that I have that thing that I can do when I need a break. Um, but yeah, I am very curious to hear how all of my peeps are doing. I'm hoping that everyone is having a good time. As for me personally, um, it is the end of the month, and the end of the month is always a chaotic time. Right now, I am currently still working to gain money independently, which is definitely stressing me out a little. Um, for those of you who don't know, my health is... Right now, it is passable. I can do things, which is a low bar, but that low bar is more than is usually the case. So I am very grateful that this bar, as low as it is, is still something that I am able to accomplish and do. But because of the very bizarre nature of my less than stellar health, hey, we got the 5% one. Um, because of the nature of my less than stellar health, I am put into a very curious position of needing to try to find ways to get money. And part of that, for me, means doing stuff like this. Working on YouTube things. Hey, cool, I was able to get out. Uh, I'm learning a lot of secrets about this game, or rather I'm showing people a lot of secrets about this game thanks to how much I personally know, including the fact that we were actually able to go ahead and get the first ship upgrade. Um, and now we have a whole new little ship that we're going to be able to use, which is really fun. Um, the very nature of my less than stellar health makes the ends of months a challenge 
that I am never fully ready for. I, I'm always just doing my best to get by, and my best is unfortunately not very good. For anyone who knows me because of my more recent videos, which is a sizable amount of my audience, it is in fact almost a tenth of my total subscribers, just because of how well my most recent videos have done, um, you should know that my health is at its very best less than great. Um, I was in a car crash a couple of years ago, and I have a chronic sickness, both of which have affected me very possibly for the rest of my life. And because of that, the nature of my existence at the moment is trying to figure out how to earn a living in a way that is safe and does not require me constantly asking people for money on the internet. It's worth noting that I don't think that there's any actual shame in needing help, but I understand that needing help all the time is not sustainable, even if it is the dire reality of being a disabled person in the United States. I am currently working to try to become a YouTube partner and to be able to make money off of my videos. So every subscription, every like, every minute spent watching my videos, all of those things are tremendously helpful for me and they are things that will make it so that in the future I can have some level of financial independence without needing to constantly be asking people for help or needing to be uh, putting my health on the line in very real ways. Uh, for those of you who are curious as to what just happened and what was the deal with those funky symbols, um, I just reached, okay, I skipped over a platform, and because I skipped over a platform, I got a little bonus. That is what happens in this game when you skip these platforms, which refuel you and serve as little safe points. Um, also, we are doing really good this uh, particular run. It's funny, this is about as good as I do in my main save file, and I have the third tier ship in my main save file, as opposed to just being brand new at this. I guess this is the difference that happens when you actually know how the game works and stuff like that, because I know a comically vast amount more about this game than I did the very first time I ever tried it a few weeks ago. It has been maybe three weeks since I played this game for the first time. And yeah, it's funny to be able to um, actually be a reasonably competent player. Um, although I definitely know that the only reason I'm able to do all the cool stuff I can do this time is because of the fact that I have played this game. I've definitely done probably hundreds of runs at this point, and uh, because of that, I have a veritable amount of experience with this game that makes me quite happy, um, although now we're starting to get into the areas where things are fast and life is short. Uh, so you hate to see it, but it is what it is. We were definitely able to pass that gem challenge. Um, we have also hit the point where we are looking at a decent amount of time in this particular video. Um, I genuinely enjoy creating the Let's Plays because the Let's Plays are so much fun for me and they allow me to connect with my audience in a way that I personally think is a lot of fun. Um, I do think that we're going to keep going for just a little bit longer. Um, I think we're going to try one more run just to see how it goes. Although, at the same time, if we reach the next ship, we actually might just keep going. Um, just because, dang, ah, oh, man, I can't believe we didn't reach the next ship with all those, with all those gems. That said, let's go uh, one more dive, and now we have a nice little shield. We're able to keep going. Um, in my, like, day-to-day -day life, Jessica and I have started watching Dance Moms, and we've actually been doing that for, like, a little over a week and a half at this point, and we are almost at season three. We actually started watching season three as our first season. Jessica had watched the show um, in her day-to-day -day life before, and I knew of Dance Moms because I knew of a handful 
of people from the show who are now famous. Um, I knew about Jojo Siwa and a handful of people, including, uh, I think, a TikTok dancer named Liliana Ketchman. I used to work as an entertainment person, and I would write about TikTok as a, like, pseudo as as a columnist with a pseudonym so i would sometimes write about dance trends and stuff like that and i found out while watching the show that she is actually from the same town as me she's from fateville which is very interesting i did not exactly think that there would be many people uh from north carolina in general in the show and i also got to see that early on in the show at the very least they go to greensboro which is my town And I think it's so funny to think that it's possible that they have been in Greensboro at the same time as me. That is not something I ever thought I would, like, think about. Ah, man, I just got iced. Uh, But this was a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be doing casual videos like this, uh, probably over weekends and stuff, just because filming these sorts of videos is fairly simple and only takes up a few minutes, and uploading them is also fairly simple. So, wow, that is, that is a massive item to have. I really love that. Um, but it's so nice to be able to record quick and simple videos, and to just be able to chat with my friends. So, uh, we are now going to go ahead and shut off this video. I hope that you all have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye!